G'day and welcome to another teachedm.com tutorial. Uh, what we're going to be talking about this week is saving our work correctly. So it may seem like a mundane and boring topic, but in the last few weeks, I've had some feedback from teachers who are having trouble with their students uh, losing work when they're putting their uh, live sets on a USB or moving from one computer to another with their work. Um, they're having trouble saving their work or they're losing files and then when they open it on the new computer all their work's gone or they're missing all their samples or something of the like. So what we're going to do is we're going to show how Ableton saves work and what we can do to make sure we can transfer our work to different computers and such uh, without losing any of our work. So let's go from here. So let's just pretend we've uh, written something. So I'm just going to put a MIDI clip in here and I'm going to drag a couple uh, loops in. So let's just pretend this is our work. Okay, and I'm going to go file, save, live, set as to start with. And I'm going to save it in my music folder as new composition. And hit save. And we'll have a look at it in our music folder here within the finder window of my Mac. But what you'll notice is it doesn't save one file. Ableton saves a folder with all the files that Ableton needs to open your project on your computer within it. Okay, now this will be fine for backing up your work on your computer, but if you want to move from one computer to another, you have to do something a little bit different and we'll demonstrate that now in Ableton. Okay, if you want to save your work to a, I guess, a USB drive or a cloud drive or something different um, within your computer and, you want to, and your intention is to move to another computer or move to another workspace with your project, um, you have to save things a little bit differently. So what you need to do is come up to the file menu up the top and click on collect all and save. Now by default these three things should be fine. Now if you want to save files from factory packs and you're using factory packs you might want to save those so make sure you click yes here but I'm not using any factory packs here and nine times out of ten these three top settings um, are fine and you can just use the default. So press OK and what you'll find now, if we go back to our file browser, you'll find this new folder within our original folder called samples. So what it's done is actually made a copy of the sample we are using in our Ableton project and added it to the composition folder. Now, like I said before, Ableton needs all the files within the composition project folder uh, for it to work. So if you want to transfer this to another drive, so let's uh, go to my external hard drive here, which is called MacBack. You should make sure you drag and drop the whole folder onto the drive. Quite often what you'll find is uh, students... I go back to my music folder, we'll only drag and drop the Ableton Live set. And what that'll do is open your Ableton Live project, but you'll have files missing, you'll have loops offline, samples offline, all that sort of stuff. So make sure you are using the correct saving technique. So collect all and save, so all your samples go into one folder, and then find your folder on your computer, so your project folder that is, your Ableton project folder, and drag and drop that whole folder onto a new drive that you're using. All right, so hopefully that helps. Hopefully we'll have no more students losing all of their work going forward. Uh, if you have any other questions or it's still not working or you need some other tips that are similar to this that you can't find anywhere else, make sure you hit me up on the comments or get in touch with me on my socials and I'll create a tutorial to help you and your class. All right, hopefully that helped and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.